Hello, my most amazing artists. It's a little different this week for Thursday. We're not going to make a Bob Ross, or Miss Decor isn't going to make a Bob Ross. We are going to make this, a unicorn, together. I figured we can do something together uh, in a little drawing tutorial with you on Thursdays instead. Switch it up so we can have some fun together. I'm going to use a Sharpie. I highly recommend my friends at home, all my artists, to start with a pencil and an eraser. I only use a Sharpie so you can see it way better. I'm waving right back at you. I know a lot of my friends saw this before we left the school and I know it was your favorite thing in the whole world. <laughs> all right, let's get to business. We are going to start with the eye, and you're going to go into the middle of your paper. And you're going to make like a really long U, a wide long U. Then you want some eyelashes. You can put as many as you want. I chose to put five down. They're just little lines. Next, we need some hair. So go a little bit above, not too far, and make a long U again, a little bit longer. Slightly more to the left, not directly above the eye. And then you're going to hook a tiny little C, hook it around just a little bit, and then curve up. Okay. That is our first lock of hair. We need an ear, and the ear is going to be a really tall and skinny rainbow. That's kind of how I thought of it as. And we're going to finish that hair off to the ear, close it in for a shape. Now we're going to make our face. Start at the hair and go down. It's a straight line to start. Don't go to the edge of the paper. Save some room, and then curve around for that snout of our unicorn. This is our head. Straight down, straight line down, and notice how I did not go off the paper. I left some room at the bottom, and we're going to leave that for now. Back to the snout, I make a curved line. Not so straight, just a little tiny curve to it to close off the snout. And then if you know what a comma looks like, it's just a really big comma. I make a circle and then a little hook for the nostril of our unicorn. Now where does the horn go? Does it go in the mouth, on the ear? Where does the horn of a unicorn go? On the eye? Where would it go? Oh, okay. Up there at the top of the unicorn's forehead. So I make a straight line, and then I make another straight line. But you can see how the bottom is a little bit wider. The top is skinnier. And then I close it off. Again, you can see how it is skinnier at the top and wider at the bottom. If you want it a little bit more 3D, you can add some curvy lines. Up to you. Now this unicorn needs a lot more hair to its mane, so let's add some of that. Make a large C. It's a wide, weird looking C. And then make that little hook again, a tiny C the other way, the correct way. And then hook it all the way around back to the ear. We're going to do the same thing. A curve to back a, a C and then curve it back around for a tinier C. And then all the way back up. 
to close it off. We need two more. They're not going to be the same way, so don't jump ahead of me. It's going to be a little different. We're going to go opposite way. We're going to make a C again the correct way, a little bit bigger. Hook it around the opposite way. And then pull it up. You might want to pause or rewind. It's a little S right there too, you can see. You may pause and rewind if you need to. And same one for the last lock of hair. A little C. Curve it back for a tinier C. And hook it all the way back. One more final step for our unicorn. That's to close off the neck. Curve it. I didn't make it a point, I made it a little curve. Go back and up and down, closing the space off. And that's it. You are ready to color. Here I go. I'm about to start my coloring and I'm going to not waste your time with it. And here we go. I'm going to lift it. Pretty cool trick I just learned. I colored really quick, friends, didn't I? That was supersonic speed. I made this one pink with a purple horn. And then I also thought I would add a name to it, a silly name. So here it is. Sassy, twinkle, toes, It's my unicorn's name. What unicorn name will you give yours? And I want to see them. If you do make one, email me. See you later, friends. Bye.